Folks, stay away from sugar and alcohol. Alcohol feeds sugar. Sugar feeds cancer. Cancer cells love sugar. Alcohol is a no-no. Cancer cells have over 90 receptor sites that they love to have sugar coming. Therefore, if you have super carb diet, if you have a lot of sugar in your diet, you are feeding cancer cells to replicate. It is a shame even oncologists are not trained in nutrition. And in most cases, fancy hospitals still provide cookies and desserts after each session of chemotherapy. This is a big wow. And they all know about it, but they still give uh, cookies, they still give dessert after meals. I don't want to go off tangent, but this time I will go. In Germany, they did a study of 100 people with cancer in their 70s. 50 received chemotherapy, 50 did not receive chemotherapy, and they were all in their 70s. The 50 who received chemotherapy in average died 11 months earlier than the 50 who did not get chemotherapy. So if you want cancer, you get chemotherapy. Again, that's just my opinion, and I'm just educating you. I'm not telling you what to do. There are a lot of factors which are not considered commonly that causes people take unnecessary drugs for their entire life. Because we have a pharmaceutical-driven medical system who teaches our doctors. Most people have some type of food intolerance such as to gluten, dairy, egg, soy, milk, grains, and they don't even know about it. And they keep introducing it to their body during their daily diet. So you will be amazed how many people clear up their brain fog, how many people clear up their memory loss, and they have a better sleep just by eliminating a few things in their diet. The problem with food sensitivities and food intolerance is that the only way to find out is to get tested. It's not by how you feel after you have pasta. When you find out what foods you're sensitive to and eliminate the food sensitivities from your diet, it's a matter of a couple of weeks. You're going to feel better. Now the good point is, as I said before, after three weeks of not having those certain foods, when you reintroduce it to your diet, you're going to see all your symptoms come back and you become miserable again, and you cannot sleep, and you're going to have forgetfulness, and you're going to have brain fog. This is a simple test that our physicians prescribe and is done on site in our office. So the most important question is, do you want to live? Do you have a desire to live? Just remember, if our doctors make you feel better, you and your family will benefit by it. So at this time, from 0 to 10, 0 being the least interested to change your life, 10 being the most interested to change your life. If you are a 9 or a 10, call our office for a consultation to see if we accept you for care and if you can enroll in our program. If you are a seven or below, do not call our office. We only accept patients who truly want to get better and are committed. We only accept patients who are truly feel that we could help them. If we feel we cannot help you, we will let you know or refer you to some other doctor. Because we only accept patients who we feel truly we can help. If we can help you, we will accept you. Any questions, call our office at 201-848-8000 or visit us at 
fixmeup123.com and God bless.